Okay, so today is the 25th of March, and uh, yeah, uh, the first thing I'm going to show you um, isn't for me, it's for a friend, but uh, I will be ripping this uh, before I send it off to him. But uh, yeah, I picked this, I saw, spotted this in a charity shop and asked him, do you want it? And he went, yeah, might as well. Now, notice it says 60p. Um, they didn't actually charge me 60p for this, they charged me 50p for it. Which I'm not complaining about, so yeah, um, I should have still to I told him that, but yeah, he's going to... I could have got an extra 10 pence out of him, oh well. But yeah, it, it comes with the slipcover, but notice uh, how thick this case is. You can tell this is an early uh, DVD release, but uh, this is Region 3, because if you notice that, it says Region 0, and uh, Region 0 is also means basically region free so yeah it's a region free dvd but uh it is pal but uh yeah this is an animated series of horrible histories which is more loosely based on it on the actual books but uh yeah uh this i believe it starred billy west i think it did i can't really remember but uh yeah notice it's just three discs that's how you can tell it's an early DVD release. But I tell you what, though, that is a solid, that is a solid DVD case. But God, look how thick it is! Look how how, how thick it is compared to a uh, standard DVD case. So yeah, but um, yeah, from the same charity, from the exact same charity shop, I got this for a pound. You might think, what the hell is this? There's a bit of something now just stuck to the bottom. So this is Toy Story Read Along. They also had uh, Pocahontas, the Hunks Back of Notre Dame, and also Flubber as well. And they had a bunch of Disney uh, VHSs, ones from, uh, that were from the 90s actually. Uh, someone had clearly just gotten rid of their entire Disney uh, collection. But uh, yeah, um, apparently the cheapest one at the time recording on it that goes on eBay is £8. But uh, yeah, the main reason I got it is not really for the book but uh it's for the cassette yeah so uh yeah here's the cassette and a lot of the time this will either be missing or uh sold separately it's, it's not completely rewound i just noticed hmm. let's actually let's, let's stick it in And uh, we'll fast forward to a certain bit. And Andy pulls the string. Reach for the sky. This and that is all I am going to play of that because I don't want to get a copyright claim. Because being Disney, no doubt that copyright is still probably very much active. But uh, yeah, there we go. So it does play fine and everything. This book's actually um card. But um yeah, I imagine this was probably released as a book separately. But yeah, is this just Yeah, this is just literally just screenshots from the film. In and it's just yeah. Yeah, I imagine there's probably versions of this re-released and I wouldn't be surprised if there is a CD edition of this as well. But yeah, massive box as well though. Like the box was the thing that grabbed my attention thinking, you know, just what the hell is this? I'm going to take that little little sticker off there. There we go. But uh, yeah, in excellent condition. The next thing I bought, despite the sticker saying £2, uh, this was 50p at a flea market. Yeah. Take that progressed uh, Blu-ray. So, yeah, this one even comes with a booklet as well. This one comes with the booklet, and a lot of the time the booklet would be missing. But, uh, yeah, I do have... Uh, an mp3 of this I do have the mp3 of this I imagine the concert that's on the blu-ray is the exact same one it might be a different one because 
in some cases the one that gets released on CD is from a different performance of the same concert. Uh, not always, but sometimes, but sometimes that is the case. Um, there we go. Just more and more pictures. Yeah. The last, most likely, the last time that we will have Tate that well, all of Tate that together. Where they released well, one and a half albums. Because we had progress and progressed, which added a few extra songs to it. But yeah, there we go with that. And uh, this is uh, region free, free, I believe. But uh, yeah, interestingly, it has it also has uh, the German uh, age rating and that on there. So I imagine this was the same throughout. This is a five point one. Surround sound, okay. But uh, yeah, 50p for that. Cannot argue with that, really. Now, I'm gonna go on a little tangent again. So, remember, when I bought this USB C cable from Poundland. This, uh, was it Vivio Vi Vido one? It's a two meter braided USB C cable charging cable. And it advertises it as being fast charge compatible, 2.4 amps. Nope. It is shit. It is utter shit. That is utter shit, that cable. Um, yeah, the regular uh, like white cables from Poundland that are now £1.50. So, half the price of this. Uh, they advertise themselves as 1.5 amps and... Yeah, they 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 are actually a lot. Cl In fact, sometimes they actually depend on the cable. I've seen them draw one point seven amps. So, yeah, this thing no, this thing is less than that. This struggles to this. I don't even think pulls an amp through. But anyway, I saw this other cable at Poundland today. This different one. I don't have high hopes for it, but it was the same price as the braided cable. Works. Well, this one. This is a. Mobit, Mobit Tech uh, one, and uh, this one is a three meter cable and it is three pounds, so same price as the other one. Um, we will see, we will see with this one, we will see. But I guess to uh, unwind it, but uh, oh, that's my, my phone is now fully charged, uh, so I can't really test it with that because it. Need some power bucks. Uh, I might, I might test this one uh, with my tablet or something to just see if it pulls the right amount. Now this one is a very long cable, so it may be useful. This one is extremely long, but also the longer the cable, generally, you know, a lot, a lot of the time, the less it's going to be able to pull. But we'll see. We will see with this. Uh, so. Yeah, although to be fair, phones now are a lot fussier, a lot, lot fussier than they used to be. So, we will see, we will see with that one, but uh, yeah, there we go people, there we go. Alright, so it's the 28th of March today, however, this package um, came yesterday. The reason I didn't open it, it uh, little you see, I cannot talk. The reason I didn't open it yesterday is uh, because I had to go into hospital because uh, I had a kidney stone. And it is the single most painful thing I have ever experienced in my life. Thankfully, I've uh, passed it through now, so... Uh, yeah. To anyone who has ever had one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Although I'm assuming... Probably not many of you, judging by my audience, because apparently 24 is actually surprisingly young uh, to get a kidney stone, apparently. But uh, regardless, there we go. There we go. So yeah, but I do know what this actually is because uh, I got a notification saying it was delivered. And that. Ooh, I'm, knock I'm knocking everything over. So yeah, they've actually packaged this really well using tissue paper and uh, 
bubble wrap. That one side. So this cost me, I think, eight pound including the delivery. Which, uh, yeah, it isn't bad. It's actually a decent price for one of these. Uh, so what this is, if you can tell, if you can see through the bag. And I'm going to have a quick look at it myself, just to make sure. Yep. Yeah. So this is another four inch teals figure. I'm going to put the light behind the camera. There we go, there we go. But uh, what makes this one special is it is a Wave 1 version, which means rather than having articulated limbs, it has uh, bendable ones. So, yeah. And uh, the these are particularly expensive. So, yeah. Uh, so, 8 quick for a loose one of these is uh, pretty decent. It also... I don't know if it's me, but it it might seem slightly larger. I'm guessing it's not. I'm guessing one that head sculpts. You know, it's been used a good dozen times, and most that sculpts have been used a good dozen times. But uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Basically, so yeah, the t telltale sign with these is obviously this is a fist, this is an open hand, and basically there's no uh, joints or anything like that so yeah but uh the only other two i could find on ebay was there was a sealed one uh on ebay brand new in box they wanted 50 pounds for that no there was another one from the same seller who was selling it a pound less a pound less than this one but uh these were broken off on that one so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I uh, picked up this one. And, you know, very happy with it. Very happy to have it in my collection. And uh, I'm going to bend the arms down a bit so he doesn't look like he's either T-posing or putting his arms out like that. I'm going to you know, bend them down a little bit more. There we go. So he's looking maybe a little bit more neutral. Uh, it's all on one wire, you can see, because when I move that one, that one moves slightly as well. So it's all on the same wire. That, that wire is very stiff. But, uh, yeah... The only problem with these is is that with some of them is that over time they can break or disintegrate. So I can see why they moved away from them fairly quickly. There is another variant of this which is actually generally when it does pop up it's considerably cheaper to get. That's in a um I think it's in a World Cup T shirt or something like that. Which I think is removable anyway, but uh yeah, um there, there we go. There we go. So yeah, I'm, I am sore today. I, I am sore, uh, round my side, uh, where the screwing was, and I've also got a, a sore hand as well, because for the entire time I was in the hospital, and you'll know this if you're on the channel, uh, I had a needle hanging out of me. Uh, basically, they put a needle in me, um, wet, and they stuck it down and left it there, and that's in case. They needed to put me on a drip of antibiotics or anything. They didn't, so basically I had a needle stuck in my hand for hours. So yeah, I've even got I've even got the rags here, but I don't think I should show them on on camera. I've got a, I've got the rags when they pulled it out and the blood came out, but I'm not gonna sh I'm not gonna show them here. I might leave it to another dedicated video, probably not, but I I do own them. So my SD card, um, for some reason, corrupted while it was just sitting in the camera. It happens once in a blue moon, but it's just really annoying that it does. And it's a, it's a bloody SanDisk Extreme Pro. But, yeah, anyway. I'm hoping I didn't lose any footage. I'm hoping I got everything off the card and that before then. But anyway, um, yeah, so I was in b and I picked up this for £5. There's the back of it. You've seen that before. There we go. Alright, so it's the 8th of uh, April today. And um, I picked this up today from uh, Home Bargains of all places. And that was because they got, in fact, the entire range of these in for 7 99 Which is pr pretty much half price on what they usually are because uh, when these came out they were £15 here in the UK 
some places even more expensive. Um, but uh, yeah, seven ninety nine. That's a pretty decent price uh, for one of these. Also, just uh, an update on this, which I gave its own unboxing to. Uh, this does not need to be two CDs. It does not need to be two CDs because each CD only has half an hour. Yeah, so it's an hour total, basically. It's an hour total. Which, if you don't know, a CD's maximum length is 80 minutes, usually. So, yeah, the fact that uh, basically they split it across two CDs and they didn't need to. Yeah, I don't know why. The quality, though, of these live recordings, um, not great, actually, not great. Uh, it isn't bottom of the barrel quality, isn't that, but... Let's just say I've heard like uh, amateur bootlegs today that sound, you know, better than this, significantly better in a lot of cases. So bear that in mind. I'm going to actually open this though, because um, I do quite like this window box, and it means I can sleep, 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 the Celix back up. There we go. I can talk again. Hey, there we go. So, yeah, I guess standard window box. Yeah, uh, the paint app, the only thing with these is, compared to the regular figures, the paint apps on them tend to be very ropey. I know it's on a lot of them, uh, the paint had actually rubbed off the nose, or there was paint sloppage uh, basically everywhere. So, yeah. Which is weird because. You know, they're using the, for the most part, they're using most of the same moulds and that as their regular figures, so. Don't understand why that's the case, and he is already too top heavy to stand up. I'll put his, I'll put two of his arms in. Another thing with that is, apart from the head, uh, there is no other articulation. With these, you know, it would have been nice if there was. I think you can, yeah, you can remove the head. I think you've got to remove the head to put the arms in properly. Or make it easier. But, uh, yeah, I find I find that really odd. So that, the fact that there's no articulation where they could have, they could have done articulation on these. I think it would have just added to it, but still. I think, I don't know who this is really aimed at. I don't know, just building... The figures, or is it aimed more at uh, the older demographic? Because they are aware of the older demographic. Let's notice his mouth is very soft on there, but there we go. So there's one of the standard sort of ones, and someone is mowing their lawn. But uh, yeah, if you take the head off like this, if you take it off. It almost looks like he's got a, a mouth there going, Ooh. But, um, yeah, I think it's because my mouth ha I can't tell with the one on the back. The one showing on the side has a painted mouth, it has a black line, but, uh, mine doesn't. The sculpt is there. The sculpt is there, but, yeah, it's not painted on, although... Looking at the picture on the back of the box, that one doesn't appear to have had any paint and that part on it either. Don't know. Just kind of looks like he doesn't have a mouth. But, um... Yeah. There we go. Does he actually stand up now? Yeah, just about. Just about problem with this is these are obviously very very top heavy very very top heavy like body weighs basically nothing all the weight is in the head so yeah I am tempted I am tempted to draw on uh, his mouth actually and I might I won't use a permanent marker I might actually even use just a biogas to 
draw the line in there into the skull because he does look a little bit odd. Kind of looks like he's got more of a lump there rather than it being his mouth. So, yeah, that's something to do. But, um, yeah, there we go. And the thing I do obviously like about these is you can, there we go, take the arms back off like that. Put, put them all back in ha. Back in ha. Yeah. There we go. And uh, be able to pop him right back inside uh, the box. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'll fart on with that later, but uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, so it's the 31st of March. And uh, I've completed the wave. So yeah, I picked these up from uh, Smith's today. So yeah, um, we'll, we'll take a look at the cheetah first. I actually did actually uh, buy these uh, online and pick them up at the school. So that's why they've got my name on it. But uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, here it is. Um, the, the one that they gave me, uh, the head is looking down on it. Um, thankfully, it doesn't seem to have the paint app issues that uh, some of the others had because they did have a couple of others in the store which I checked out but um yeah again I don't really have anything to say because I can't really compare it to anything because again this is for DLC that doesn't yet exist so I can't really comment much on that on it so it comes with um a water, a water, a water squirter. There we go. And uh, then finally, we have the balloon foxy, which I believe is a Walmart exclusive. But uh, here in the UK, it's just available basically anywhere that is selling this wave of figures. It just has this silver foil sticker, sticker seeing uh, Funko Special Edition, and you can order it from the Funko uh, Euro store. But uh, yeah, it kind of almost. It, it, Kind of reminds me of uh, the mystery minis, except uh, you know, doesn't look shit. But uh, yeah, it is quite cute this one with a big balloon. But uh, yeah, considering how much smaller it is as well, like you're paying the same price for this and a regular five-inch figure. So don't know. It would have been nice if it maybe came with you know something else to try and make it feel like you know you're getting a bit more value out of it because I mean look, look at the box look at the box so much space there is in that in there compared to it I didn't show that one from the side either yeah but uh yeah finally got this wave I mean it's more interesting than the tie-dye wave that came before it um but, yeah, to be honest, like, if I'm honest with you, like, if I was going to do a second wave, like, these would not be the figures I'd choose. Even if they are highly used in the DLC, which, I doubt it. Maybe they are, maybe they're not, I don't know, but, yeah, if you were going to do another Security Breach wave, where, where's, uh, Burn Trap, where's, bloody, even Gregory, where's... You know, even do a version of the Bonnie figure, and that so we could actually, you know, see what it looked like or what it was supposed to look like. But yeah, we didn't get any of that. So yeah, slight dis bit of a disappointment there. But yeah, or even damaged versions of uh, the first wave animatronics, because yeah, but um, yeah, there we go, people. There we go.